let's solve for x. So we are told that x to the power of x is equal to 48. So the first thing we need to do is to know that we can only solve this using logarithm, right? So we are going to introduce log. Log h to the, to the power of x is equal to log 48. Okay, now when you have log a to the power of b, this is equal to b multiplied by log a. All right, so that simply means that we can solve this as what x multiplied by log 8 is equal to log 48. Now, at this point, let's divide both sides of the equation by log 8 and divide this as well by log 8. Okay, so that log 8 we divide log 8 and we have that x is equal to log 48 divided by log 8. Now, we need to express this log 48 in terms of log 8, right? So, we know that 8 times 6 will give us 48. So, we can write that x is equal to log 8 times 6 divided by log 8, okay? Then we can now write as well that our x is equal to, now when you have log a multiplied by b, this is equal to log a plus log b, okay? So we can then write this. That means we can write this as x is equal to what? Log 8 plus log 6, okay, divided by log 8. All right, then we can solve this as x is equal to log 8 divided by log 8, okay, plus log 6 divided by log 8, okay? Now, let me clean the part. Okay, so that simply means that we can further solve this as what. Well. So what we have here is that x is equal to log 8 divided by log 8 plus log 6 divided by log 8, okay? Now, x, this we divide itself. We have that x is equal to 1 plus log 6 divided by log 8. All right? Okay. So, we have that x is equal to... One plus now log six can be written as log two multiplied by three. Okay, so it's going to be divided by what log two multiplied by three, two to the power of three. Sorry, because eight is same thing as two to the power of three. So we have that x is equal to one plus log two. This is same thing as log 2 plus log 3, right? Okay. Divided by log. Now, this same thing as 3 log 2. So, simply, we can further express this as what? X is equal to 1 plus log 2 divided by 3 log 2. Okay. Plus log 3 divided by 2 log 2. Sorry, 3 log 2. All right. Now, let's continue. Let us continue. So, we can now write further. We can write further that our x is equal to, we, this is what we have, 1 plus 
log 2 divided by 3 log 2, right? Okay. Plus log 3 divided by 3 log 2. So this is what we have. That means that x is equal to 1 plus, this is same thing as 1 over 3 because log 2 we divide log 2. Okay. Plus, then here we have 1 over 3 log what? 3 base 2. Yes, because when you have log A divided by log B, okay? So when you have something like this, log A divided by log B, this is same thing as log A base B. All right. So that simply means that we can express log 3 divided by log 2 as log 3 base 2, okay? All right. So that means we have that x is equal to, when we solve this, the LCM is 3, right? So we have 3. 1 divides 3, we have 3. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 divides 3, we have 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Plus 1 over 3 log 3 base 2. Okay? So we have that x is equal to 4 divided by 3 plus 1 over 3 log 3 base 2. Now, I'd like you to watch to the end because I'm going to give classwork. Like someone suggested that we do that. So I would like you to also solve that classwork using this particular method, okay? All right. So this becomes the value of our x. Now, we are going to substitute what we got into this particular, into the main equation to prove that the answer is correct, okay? Now, the equation says 8 to the power of x. I'm going to clean everything, leaving the solution that we got, okay? So this is the question. This is the question. That 8 to the power of x is equal to what? 48. Now, we got x to be equal to 4 over 3, okay? Plus 1 over 3 log. 3 base 2. So this is what we got. So we are going to substitute everything into this place, okay? So we have 8 to the power of 4 over 3 plus 1 over 3 log 3 base 2, okay? So that is what we have. Now let's prove that the answer is correct. So this is same thing as 8 to the power of 4 over 3 multiplied by 8 to the power of what? 1 over 3 brackets log 3 base 2. Okay? And this is equal to what? 48. So we have 8 to the power of 4 over 3. Okay? Is multiplied by... We have 8 to the power of 1 over 3. 3, sorry, we have to express this 8 as what? 2 to the power of 3, okay? So this is 2 to the power of 3. Then we have, this is raised to the power of what? 1 over 3 log 3 base 2, okay? So this is same thing as cube root of 8 to the power of 4, right? So this is same thing as cube root of 8 raised to the power of 4. That is what this is all about. Multiplied by this, we cancel this. So we have 2 to the power of what? Log 3 base 2. And this is equal to 48. All right? So this is equal to 48. Then we continue. We can now write cube root of 8. We give us 2, right? So we have 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by... When you have a raised to the power of log a3 or log ab, let's call this place b, all right? This is equal to b, okay? So that simply means that since we have the same base here and here, the same number here and here, that means the whole of this is 3, right? So this is equal to 3, okay? Is equal to 48. Now, 2 to the power of 4 is 16, okay? 16 multiplied by 3 is equal to 48. 
and we know that 16 multiplied by 3 will give us 48. So 48 is equal to 48. So this proves that our solution is right. Now, I want us to solve this. Someone said I should give you classwork. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to do that because she is a huge fan. Now, I'd like you to solve this. 4 to the power of x is equal to 20. So I'd like you to get the value of x for me. Then substitute and also to, uh, substitute the value you got for your x to prove that what you got is right. Okay. Bye.